Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I am going to talk to you about why basketball teams run basketball plays. So hello everyone, my name is Alan. On this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. Sometimes I talk about basketball and I well, just do basketball stuff, but in general. Today, I'm watching the Raptors game, and uh, they are currently winning 27-21. to Anyways, so, watching this game, it reminded me of a question that I got from a few players back when I played basketball. And that was, why, why, why do we run plays? Like, wouldn't it be just easier to go, like, pass the ball around and, like, see what happens? Now, that was coming from two different kinds of basketball players. So, there was one, uh, one player who just, he ran House League. Uh, if you don't know what House League is, basically House League is a, a, a group of basketball players. They get together and start different teams. There's a head, uh, like adult, and they just kind of go amongst themselves. Generally, they don't have practice, and they have one game a week, usually on a weekend. So in those leagues, usually you just pass the ball around and see what happens, and so on and so forth. And then there's the next level up, which is wrapping up here in Canada or AAU down in the States. Uh, everyone probably has heard of AAU. Basically, it's a, it's a travel team for your city. Uh, from there, those, those are usually the teams that run plays. And one of the players who just was freshly new to the team, who was playing on, the, on a rep team that I played on, uh, his name was Greg, and uh, basically he came on and he was like, what, why are we running plays? And the coach never heard it, and nobody ever, we all kind of tried to explain it to him, but we were like, I don't know, 13? So <laughs> we just said it makes it easier to score, but there, for a player like that, if you were a coach, and you want to explain to a player like that who has never ran plays before why you run plays. Basically just explain to them, hey, to run a play, it, it makes it so that you can make the other team, uh, well, switch off. Maybe now instead of there being a 7-foot guarding a 7-footer, now there's a 6-foot-2 guy guarding a 7-footer. Which now means that that 7-footer is going to have a hell of an easy time trying to score in the low post. And that's what plays are made to do. They're made to get players open, and they're made to get players, uh, well, mismatches so it's easier to score. Are we winning yet? Still winning. 29-26, that's good. Anyways, so, uh, then there was the other type of player who was just like, almost like Allen Iverson, where it's like, oh, why do we practice? Then there's, then there's that question of, why are you here, kind of thing. But, uh, from there, there's... Uh, um, different kinds of players again with that so there's the players who just don't like to practice and there's the players who are like I, I don't need a play I can take my guy one on one every single time and we had a player like that when I was in high school as well I'm not going to say his name because he was lined up for scholarships at the time and he just never got them uh, but he was our one man press break we never had to run a press break because he was our press break uh, nobody could guard him uh, when he was dribbling uh, but when it came down to a half-court offense, he was nowhere. He couldn't do anything. So, there's pluses and minuses to everything. And, again, you can suit your, your plays around your team, that kind of thing. But, from there, basically just explain to them, this is, uh, well, for one, what teams do. And this will make your life a lot easier trying to score. And, as a coach, I've had players from, again both sides of the argument as well and that's how I explained it to those players is it makes it easier for you to score if you run these plays and then I get to say I'll bring them down to a clipboard sometimes and I'll say okay so when we run this play and this is the defense and how the defense will react does that not make it look on in theory like it's gonna let you score a lot easier and at least with the players I've coached that kind of helped Anyways, I hope uh, this has helped at least a few coaches. If you want, you can show this to your, your players that you coach that just don't want to run plays. 
And yeah, I hope you haven't enjoyed. So I, this is a short video. I think it's only a couple of minutes, maybe five minutes at max. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed. I'm going to go back to watching the Raptors game. Hopefully they beat the Chicago Bulls. If you're from Chicago, I'm sorry, but I'm a Raptors fan. Anyways, have a great one, eh? Bye. If you are looking for a great basketball workout, check out these Victorum bands. They are absolutely amazing. You can attach them onto a pole. You can work on your first step. Or somebody can hold you back, and you can run with it and work on your legs. Check them out in the link in the description below. They are amazing. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe, or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also, the opposite direction, or the opposite side, is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.